I call the honourable member for Fairfax. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Question to the Minister for Health. As most Australians are against the co-payment, Palmer United, the Greens and Labor have now formally declared war against it. There is no prospect of it becoming law. Why does the government persist to undermine business confidence by not putting forward proposals that have the support of the Australian people and by putting forward proposals that will never happen? Do they want to frighten people or undermine business confidence? I call the Honourable the Minister for Health. Well, thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. And I thank uh, the member for Fairfax and I thank him for uh, the way in which he's been able to engage with uh, me and with the government uh, on this very important issue. We've had very productive uh, discussions, very productive discussions and his, uh, his suggestions around the co-payment, uh, which I haven't spoken about publicly, uh, we've welcomed. And we've done work on the proposals uh, put to us by the member for Fairfax and uh, the Palmer United Party. Because, like the government, uh, the Palmer United Party, and I think most good thinking Australians understand that we've got a problem when it comes to Medicare, and we want to make sure that we can sustain it for the next generation. Now, Labor had, Labor had two independent reports left. that both came to them and said that spending at its current level was unsustainable. But what did they do? What did the member for Sydney do? She spent more money on building great big new bureaucracies and not on frontline services. And Labor runs around telling people, oh, well, we raised $10 billion out of the Medicare levy. That will pay for Medicare. But the in typical, in typical economic fashion uh, conducted by the Labor Party, the problem is that for the $10 billion that we raise, we spend $20 billion a year on Medicare. So unless the Labor Party is going to go out before the next election saying to the Australian public that they're going to double, double the Medicare levy to pay for the gap, they should go out and declare that if that's their plan. If their plan is to increase taxes, if their plan is to increase taxes, they should be upfront about it. They should be upfront about it, but of course they're not, because Labor cannot manage the economy and they cannot manage the health portfolio. Now we were spending eight billion dollars a year ten years ago on Medicare. Today we spend twenty billion dollars a year. In ten years' time, Madam Speaker, we will spend thirty-four billion. Dollars a for year. Sydney will and what we are saying is through a modest co-payment we will strengthen Medicare for the next generation. That is what the government aims to do. At the same time, Madam Speaker, we have adopted Labor's logic when it comes to the PBS because Labor introduced a co-payment on the PBS. Why did they do that, Madam Speaker? They did it because at the time Labor was honest with the Australian public and they said our medicine scheme is unsustainable without a co-payment. Now, we are definite about our plans to strengthen Medicare and to make sure that we have a world-class health system for a generation to come. Labor is putting a proposal to the Australian public which is unfunded, and in typical Labor fashion, they ran out of money before they were able to do anything about this problem before the last election.